Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel, Automation with Priyanka. Today in this video, I will be talking about how to create an APM driver session using UI Automator 2 Options class. In the last session, I hope you have gone through the last session recording. And uh, there we have discussed, okay, how to create a Maven project, how to add a dependency, APM dependency, right? And how to create a first script using desired capabilities to create our APM driver session. So for that, very first, we need to start our server. Just whenever you have a complete setup of, setup of APM with you, just type here command APM and you will able to start the server. Before continue the script process, we need to start our device also. So let me start the device from the Android Studio. So once the server is started, once the device is started, you can come back to Eclipse and just write a logic. So again, how to create a session using UI Automator 2 Options class? So let me create a TestNG test case. And here I'm writing the class name, driver session, okay? UI Automator 2 Options class, 2 Options class. So here we are creating driver session with the help of UI Automator 2 Options class. Guys, this is a framework based class we have in APM latest version. Using this class also, you are able to create a direct your session. You don't need to pass multiple, we can say capabilities to our server. So test APM driver session. I'm giving this test case name. This class name I'm writing for your understanding. So you can minimize it whenever you start working in the real time. Okay. But currently, I'm just writing as per the topic so that you can relate the example. Okay, so what is the first step? We need to set the capability, correct? We need to set the capability. And then we need to simple, we need server details where we can start our session. And then we can create a driver session. This is what the step, right? We have to follow. Very first, how you can set the capability, just create an object of this class. You have to write in this manner, UI Automator 2 Options, okay? Just create an object of this class. I'm writing option. It is equal to new UI Automator, okay, 2 Options Constructor. So this is the basic way you are going to create an object. Let's import this class directly from Java Client Library. So you are able to see here UI Automator 2 Options class. See, it's a S options. And then you will get a direct import statement, right? From the Java client library. Once it is done, now what exactly capability we need to set? See, in the previous example we discussed about, we need to set multiple capabilities. We need to add here, okay, capabilities for, just let me show you. Capabilities for platform, automation name, device name. In fact, your UDID number. But in this example, we just require only the application path. Means, I will be first creating string. Okay, I will be just creating string here. Let me write string. And it's the path. Okay, here I will write system dot get property. So what is system? It's a class. Get property is a method where you can take current, okay, current class or we can say current project directory directly using command user.tir. Just you have to write project directory if you wanted to capture. Let's see, currently in the user, where is the project available? Project is available at this directory. So we are just writing this command. It will directly get the path of your current project, which is APM mobile application testing, correct? Inside this, where the path is available. It is inside SRC. It is inside resource. Basically, we have test first and then we have resources. So let me write proper path. Inside resources, okay, once you add it, where is the application? Application is available here, right? So at this moment, let's get the path of that application. Means direct none, okay, where exactly that application is available. If I right click and if I open properties, Say this is the application name. I will just copy this name and I will add it here, right? So this is the application name, basically my path name, 
where that uh, okay i'm giving a complete part where that application is available that's it now when you write in this manner so what exactly we did here everyone we have just write, written okay the path of the current application and this path i wanted to set as a value to my key so how we can set the capability you just need to write option dot set capability method where we are passing key and the value and for apm key is apm colon app right where we are attaching this path so what i have written i have written system dot get property user dot directory this will take the current project directory and under current project at this location that file is available dot apk file okay then i need a server detail absolutely when you start your server you can see this is the address right where the server is started so i will be creating url class object let me write url it is equal to new url now you know that url is a class where you can provide server address current server address i will be writing http colon 0.0.0 and then you have to pass here simple we can say port number for apm and which is always remember 4723 we need to write now let me import url class from java.net it will just throw one exception mul form url exception throw it and then guys once it is thrown right here we are able to create our driver session so we need to use apm driver apm driver driver it is equal to new we are doing specifically android automation testing and for that reason you need to write android driver constructor and as i told you in constructor you have to pass two important argument one is the server address where the apm server we have started another one is our device capabilities so i'm writing url comma here in this case i have created object as a option so i'm just writing option let's import apm driver from java client package same android driver from java client android package and we know that once the connection will establish you guys are able to see the session id so let me just print session id i will write session id is and here i'm going to write driver dot get session id command so using this what we are expecting whenever we write this automation script because of our statement first of all session will be created for this address where the server is started then server will get to know all these capabilities and server will create a session with that device and then you will able to see the result so let's see how this entire script is executing but make sure that before execution your server should be started and device should be on right then only you can execute your test case from eclipse and you can check the result directly inside the device have patience as we are doing mobile application testing so it will take quite time okay and you will able to see the result now you can see i am able to open mobile application api demo app in this device by using my automation script and in the console i am able to see session id created by that server right here you can see that part so if i can show you this is the session id and this is our automation script so guys basically this is the way another way through which you are able to create a driver session so far we have discussed two ways how to create a driver session using desire capabilities and how to create a driver session using ui automator to options class try the both ways and if you have any question in that come back to me thank you so much for watching this video good day